shifting gears just a little bit, but I think you're going to find this interesting. I did. Gum disease and heart trouble. At first, you think there's no connection, right? Turns out there is. Please welcome Dr. Dwayne Keller, former Rolling Stone, actually, from Keller <laughs> Professional Group, and Erica Baldridge joining him this morning. Doctor, Erica, nice to have you both here. Thank you, Matt. So in the past, you've talked to us a lot about TMJ. Today, we're shifting gears a little bit. There really are some strong connections between the health of your mouth and mm -hmm. your general health overall, specifically your heart health. Correct. What we found in a couple of studies is that as we treated the gum disease, the systemic inflammatory markers that are recognized by the FDA as what they call markers for who's going to have a heart attack, stroke, or have, develop atherosclerosis decreased over 25% just wow. by treating gum disease. So how is it that the bad stuff, the infection, the bacteria, gets from your gums to your bloodstream? If a person has bleeding gums, mm -hmm. if you could look at that under a microscope, if you could take that flap of tissue and, and fold it back, it's all ulcerated. And at the bottom of those ulcerations are the blood vessels. And that's why gums bleed when you brush or floss. It means the blood vessels are exposed to the bacteria. Mm. So this picture we're looking at here, all those little red dots kind of around and below the gum line, those are points of entry, basically, for the bad stuff exactly. into the bloodstream. Yikes. Okay, so enter Erica, your lovely model that you yes. brought along with you this morning. <laughs> you have this tray. What do you call this? this it's called tray? a perio tray. The perio tray. And I'll Erica, you. in your case, you just use this kind of as a preventive yes, maintenance Yes, preventive tray. and for maintenance. Yeah. Yes, so I don't have any issues down the road. Is it tough to use? How do you no, do it? No, it's simple and easy. Okay. Um, you have the tray that's fit around your teeth, mm -hmm. and then the tube of gel. Put a small amount in there. Not much. No, um, a little bit goes a long way is what we like to say. Mm -hmm. After you have the gel seated in the tray, you just seat it around your teeth. Right. And we won't hear from Erica again. <laughs> I was just saying, can you sing the Star Spangled Banner now? <laughs> no. So what's, what's the tray doing? What is that that she put in there, and how does it help? It's a very mild hydrogen peroxide gel, which you make in your body as an mm -hmm. antimicrobial. It is delivered into that little valley that's infected, and the hydrogen peroxide then kills the bacteria that cause gum disease. If you kill the cause, you don't have the disease. If you don't have the disease, you don't have them getting into the bloodstream associated with the heart problems. Wouldn't that be something? So do you find that patients, and is there, is there good evidence out there that patients that use this kind of thing show a decrease in those markers, as you called them? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. we, we just had an article published in Cardiovascular Systems that was a pilot study that we did here in St. Louis mm -hmm. uh, to show that we could actually decrease those systemic inflammatory markers by greater than 25%. No kidding. Wow. Keep doing it, Erica. Keep doing it. Thank you very <laughs> much. And you too, Dr. Keller. Always nice to have you here. If you are experiencing any of these problems, Give Dr. Keller a call, 314-638-4190. He can help you find out, first of all, why you might be having pain, why you might be having these ulcerations, what can be done about it. Or you can always check out his website, too, drdwaynekeller.com, to learn more about this treatment and about TMJ, mm -hmm. which he talks to us about from time to time. Mm -hmm. Guys, interesting helpful. stuff. Very, very much very. so. Thank you.